I was too young in the eighties to go out to clubs, but uh, what, what clubs were you playing? Uh, and are any of them still around today? No. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think so. Um, was it like in New York, the, in New York, the, fir the first real gig I played in New York would have been CBGB's, and the honestly, uh, I played one of the uh closing shows of CBGB's, which was really, really kind of... I was of, at one of those. I was, I was at one of those last three ba Bad Brain shows. Yeah. The uh, the False Prophets, who I was playing with in New York, were one of the bands that was asked to play at the end of the time of Hilly, mm. uh, when CBGB's was going to close, and it was really something because what had happened was there had been a show many years earlier of the dead Kennedys and of false prophets and mm. the same bill uh, happened again in 2006, I would say six or whatever it was yeah. when uh, CB's was closing and we did the false prophets and dead Kennedys together right. there. Again, which was really weird. I have some very nice uh, pictures from that, and uh, a really just a, a little aside here. Mm -hmm. uh, I was talking with DH, their drummer, after the show, and we oh, were incredible, like, incredible drummer. He's an incredible drummer and was an incredible uh, man, nonetheless. Um, and he plays a part in when I cleaned up off the hard drugs so oh, wow, that's going to cool. come into another part of this right right but we were like out we were like outside of cbgb's that night and there were young kids who were like us at, at another time who mm -hmm. wanted to get in that couldn't get in so we cracked open the back door and let them in like it was yeah punk rock style yeah yeah and then and then we're like walking up and down bowery after the show and we're like hey you remember when we used to walk down here and like you know have to you know jump over the bum trying to score drugs mm -hmm. you know and now it's a whole different thing 